Hi, I'm Paul Denton and I'm the Head of Visitor Programmes and Exhibitions here at Kew Gardens. It's been a fabulous summer here at Kew Gardens and we've celebrated in style with the Food Forever programme uh, with installations and exhibitions all across the gardens for our visitors to enjoy. All have posed questions about what we eat and how we eat in the future and how the ever-changing climate is really impacting our food. Now we're going to hear from some of those people that really brought the programme to life over the summer. They include some of the artists, contributors, chefs and our own scientists and horticulturists here at Kew. Our food in 2050 is going to look very different. We're going to be having to shift from an animal uh, protein based diet to a plant based, uh, more legume based protein diet. Kew's well placed for this because we've We've got access to that diversity and an understanding of food diversity, crop diversity, and how we can use those tools to tackle these global issues. What I hope for the future of food in 2050 is that we see a greater diversity of things that we're eating. And that diversity in what we're growing is really going to increase our resilience in the future. We need to connect people to the stories about food and how we are going to have security with our food in the future. In 2050, I think the food on our plates is going to look quite different. I think we are going to have to move forward um, things like potatoes, tomatoes. We are finding with climate change that we are getting the blights and we are getting pest problems, diseases that we, we're not really ready for. I think we're going to be looking at alternatives for those, the staple crops, the starches such as the yakons, mashu and ochre. So when we look at our plates, I think you'll also be finding a lot more fungi and uh, interesting varieties that we haven't really been investigating that we are now looking at at Kew. So food waste and hunger is a tragic paradox. The FAO say that if we were to save all food waste, it would feed two billion people. That's more than twice the number of malnourished people in the world today. So I've coined a term called root to fruit eating, which is a sustainability philosophy that started as a way to communicate the idea of what I call complete consumption. So eating the whole ingredient, whether it's a whole food or whole plant, including its skin, stem and leaves. But of course food waste is just the tip of the iceberg or releases much as 90 times less carbon dioxide than meat if we swap it out. I think in 2050 food is going to look way more plant-based and not only fruits and veggies but also alternative uh, sources of protein uh, whether it's uh, legumes or um, um, algae or mushrooms. So I think we're really going to see that trend increase in the future. As you've heard, there's loads of conversations around food, what we eat and where it comes from in the future. What do you think our food will look like in 2050?